Here's problem 41.9. The wave function for a particle confined to a one-dimensional box located between x equals 0 and x equals L is given by psi of x is equal to a sine n pi x divided by L plus b cosine n pi x divided by L. The constants a and b are determined to be well, we have ourselves an infinite well, a one-dimensional box located between 0 and L, where the potential energy is 0 inside and infinity outside. So our function will not be found outside this infinite well. It will only be found inside. And we know that this wave function should be continuous at the boundaries, so at our boundaries, our wave function should also be zero. So let's write that down. Our wave function is equal to zero at, in particular, x equal to zero. Well, if we plug x equal to zero into this wave function, what do we get? Our wave function at x equal to zero is equal to a sine n pi zero over l plus b cosine n pi 0 over L. And this should be equal to 0 because we have no wave function. We have to be continuous there. Well, the um, sine of 0 is equal to 0. And the cosine of 0 is equal to 1. So what we're left here is b is equal to 0. So our B constant must be equal to zero, and in general, our wave function is going to be equal to A sine n pi x over L, or A, let's call it sine kx, where k is equal to n pi over L. All right, we wish to normalize this. We know that uh, the wave function has to be found somewhere between x equal negative infinity to infinity. And so that would be our wave function, psi of x squared dx, and that should be equal to 1. Well, uh, our wave function is indeed a sine n pi x over L, all this dx. And we square that, so it's going to be a squared sine squared, evaluate from negative infinity to infinity, and we should be able to find it somewhere, equal to 1. Well, let's take the a out of the integral, a squared out of the integral, and we know that um, the, the wave function is 0, where x is less than 0 and x is greater than l. So we can change our limits here to a definite integral between 0 and l and a squared here, sine squared kx dx is equal to 1. Well, if we look at the definite integral of sine squared of kx dx, there's actually a, we can find that in a table. And so we have a squared, and then our table value for that integral is 1 half x minus sine 2kx over k with a one-fourth out front here evaluate it from 0 to L and this should all equal 1 well if we put um, L in there uh, k is equal to n pi over L so if we put L inside the sine function we're going to get a sine of n pi and the sine of n pi is actually equal to 0. And if we put 0 in there, we'll get a sine of 0 as well. So this term is going to be 0. And so we're going to end up with a squared times 1 half L equals 1. Or if I solve this for a, I'll get a, is equal, a squared is equal to 2 over L. Or a is equal to 2 over L square root. So that is our constant a. Our constant b was equal to 0.
from the 4. And those are our two constants for our wave function determined by normalization.